In shape, much so. Um, they're really heavy, clumsy. Um, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, no. Let's just actually do no about the team's history of them playing against each other. I've got this. You, go on, take over then. Right. So, Capitals and Minsk have always been really close throughout the past few seasons that I've been involved. Um, so last season, uh, they. What was it? Did they, oh shit! Last season, they, it's all right, mate. You have to be perfect. <laughs> no, but did they it's not scripted? No, I know, but did they win or did they draw? We, they beat us. They beat us. It was two. No, but, no, no. They, didn't they just make us draw and then that wasn't enough points? No, we lost. We lost. So they, they was it three two. So towards the end of the game last season, uh, we we scored a goal. It was a contentious goal that the referee ruled uh, wasn't over the line, and it, and it was. And unfortunately, it was on video. All of our team ran off and celebrated. And uh, while they were celebrating, the Capitals players broke and went down the wing and lobbed our goalkeeper and got it in. So that obviously was absolutely heartbreaking for everybody to come so close at the end of the and season. I got a red card again. That's right. Yeah, and Danny got Danny got sent off. So obviously there's a lot of history uh, between the two teams. That's why this is really seen as like redemption. But you know what? They're, they're like they're really good team. Like they're like literally apart from us, the best team in the league. It's the top two teams. And technically, last year they, they were still at the top top three. Team G was the best last year, but um, this year they're definitely. I'd say technically and physically they're they're definitely up there with us. It, it, it's like fair positioning. So they <laughs> fuck off, Ras. Is is uh, very fair like positioning at the end for the end of the season to be to be going against Minsk and Capitals. I feel like I said a lot, I feel like you've took over it. No, go on, you say it. <laughs> you say it. Oh,
Last one, 90% stretch out. One, two, three, four, from the diaphragm. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, 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 two. 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 Seven, seven, three, when I was a little kid, <laughs> playing out in the street, somebody knocked me down and another kid came over to me and picked me up and said, what did you bump your head? I said, fucking yeah you swag. He said, so what are you going to do now? You're going to get up and switch it on them? I was like, yeah, fucking right. That's the mince way. The mince club is the greatest. And my dad always told me, if I want to be part of the greatest, I've got to be the greatest by fucking self. Who's yeah. saying that? Oh, 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 We've got fucking heroes everywhere. Look, yeah. shake the hand of the man on your fucking right, right now. Yeah. These guys are your yeah. fucking yeah. boys. Come yeah. yeah. on, lads. Yeah. Right, today, we've got 3 5 2 again because we trust in ourselves. We're going to play a little bit more defensive. Dave's going to have a chat with you guys about that in a minute. So, starting, three at the back, Steve Tatties. Dave and fucking Jack, the nutter, the absolute soldier. The left and right, we're going to have Joey starting. Joey the little fucking underlay, underlay. Leva, Leva. And Shane, your utility man, fucking play anyway. We'll be playing everywhere today. In the middle, it's going to be Sean and Jack Clancy sitting level with the heart of a lion in front of them, stopping their two centre-backs from playing out into the middle. And that's you, boy. And up front, we're going to have Paddy and Danny. Explosive. They're fucking scared of you, and they should be. And we're going to fuck them up. You lot ready for this shit? Yeah! Come on, smash the cunts. Come on, lads. Yeah. 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 All we're going to stand up and say, yeah, we fucking did a what? <laughs> <laughs> what? And what? Dario, get in there. Get involved, Dario.
one foot in the work. Um, what can I say? Keep going, man. Everything's going fine. Keep working. Okay, so just uh, I think we we should let the fullbacks go a little bit more. Also, we talked about the strikers splitting wide at the start for goal kicks, but that doesn't mean that you then become a winger. Yeah. So after after the players have had from the goal kick, we split. They've gone long. Go back to being a striker. At least one year has to go back to being a striker because we've got no air ball. You guys are coming playing as wingers. That's not what. It was just to stop the goal kick. So. From if they go but, but, like, but that guy, <laughs> that guy right back, he, he just yes, and he pings it straight away. So that's right. and then after, after, after that's happened, you go back. You're a striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you go back to being a striker and don't get dragged track back. Okay, we need a bit more up the pitch. Yeah. If they go so. centre, is our number ten going to push on him? Or that's the, the idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Push the yeah. Like they're older. Let the two centre backs. They're tired legs. Oh. We had them the last time in the second half. They're yeah, not yeah. as fit as us. It's our fucking. We score all our goals now. Second half. Work harder. To make sure it is lads. Come on.
in there, lad. Come on. Um, important to remember with the club, the club was based around the Minsk Club. Minsk Club was a motorbike club, well, essentially based upon a Minsk motorbike. Belarusian two-stroke 125cc bike, agricultural vehicle, which we all thought was great. Looking back, it was still great. Let me tell you, the scene here today is completely mad. You can't believe these people, they ride Minsk motorcycles. The Minsk motorcycle has been described as one of the worst motorbikes ever manufactured, although quite well suited to off-road Vietnam. The clutch sticks and grabs, it's blocky, the gearbox, things break, but people can fix them. And this club is dedicated to the memory of the Minsk. The memory? They're still living. Now, so when the club started up on the uh, 8th of March 1998, it was Although it was about a motorbike, it was more about it was more about a, a way of life. It was people uh, looking for the quest for adventure, pleasure, and happiness. It was a group of like-minded uh, people who wanted to get out and explore Vietnam, uh, to get out in the countryside, to encourage others to do it, look after each other. I mean, that's where the series of trips we did out to the countryside, like like the Mai Chao trip and like Cook Phuong, where the football club. Uh, originated. February 2000. Must have been um, about Minsk Club meeting number. Minsk Club meeting number. Four. Well, more than that, I think. Been about a year old, huh? 10 or 11. So uh, there must have been uh, 10 of us headed out to Cook Phuong. Uh, weekend in Cook Phuong, get out of Hanoi. And uh, yeah, we had a Saturday, nothing to do. There's a big green in the middle. And uh, we. Uh, there was about 25 kids there, so someone had a football, so we picked up the ball, 25 of them against 7 of us. Uh, sweaters for goalposts, proper old school. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, it, was a, it was a thrilling nil-nil stalemate when the park guards came and picked up the ball, took the ball away and said... Uh, and that, was the, that was our uh, debut. So that sort of spurred a bit of a, a feeling to get our football team together. We got back to Hanoi, Elliot, uh, another founding member, he uh, booked the pitch down in Kimma. Yeah, and then we had like um, a couple of friendlies with teams like Vietnamese teams contacted. Vietnamese teams Arsenal. like Arsenal. Like Arsenal, yeah, in Brazil. And Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> Played the National Stadium, didn't we? Played the National Stadium. No one could sleep the night before. We were so excited to play the National Stadium. Yeah, it was a few of us down and that started off on Tuesday nights and then we were a Minsk United club, Muk. And there was the uh, lofty uh, heights we reached at the beginning. Cook Fung, February 2000. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then it must have been uh, 2002. There was, uh, there was a few other clubs around, main clubs around were drink team. Happily named because apparently they drink. Um, Russians they were originally, the drunk team, the oh, drink yeah. team. Uh. They've all gone. Mm. And, uh, and Hanoi Capitals were the other big team, so that must have been, it was the summer, we used to have two leagues, two leagues in a year. So it was six teams, the first format was six teams. Who were the six teams? First league. Drink, Capitals, Mints, Japan Embassy? And Alaska. Alaska. Alaska Water. It must be FPT. FPT. Mm. So, uh, 
We were invited into the first league. We'd never played well, we'd played 11 a side at the National Stadium with Brazil and Arsenal. But <laughs> apart from that, we hadn't played against average teams. So it was a bit of a shock to the system. Uh, first game we ever played was Drink Team. We were, we were down 4 0 at half time. We only got one the second half. 5 0 we lost first game. We almost won the second half. <laughs> yeah. Losing became a bit of a habit. So, yeah, the whole season. No, we drew one. We drew one, I, lost nine. I think the first season we didn't get a draw. I think it was the second. Because they were half seasons. Yeah, we drew one, lost nine. Did we? Yeah. Okay. Second season we drew three, lost seven. But the thing is, when you're losing, you've got to come up with ways to win. Now, some teams would do that through training or through maybe recruitment by other people. The recruitment would have been good because we didn't normally have 11 people. We certainly didn't have a goalkeeper. We used to have sort of celebrity goalkeepers down. Highway 4, security guy who'd never played football before, ran away from the ball. Um, we had all random people without any shoes, all kinds of all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it was always a bit of a struggle. We didn't really have phones, so you couldn't call anyone up anyway. And if you did, they were probably still out. Yeah, a bit of a nail biter at the moment. A bit of a, some serious decisions from the ref, but it's been a game in good spirit. It's uh, a pretty fair play, I think, from both sides. It's been fun to be on the pitch, actually. It's been good fun. I think we're going to see some more goals in the second half. So, anyway, we tried different uh, what are, what are strategies to we choose to, to, to get that elusive victory. We brought in the medic. Yeah, the medic was good. We had a team medic who bring us shots of zeal whenever we went down under a foul or anything. We even tried shots of gecko liquor at half time, which was, uh, which was rank when it was about 35 degrees and you were knackered anyway. That didn't, didn't work. Didn't sell tablets as well. Yeah, another didn't, one. Didn't sell diet tablets, yep. Yeah. They helped on a Friday night. Yeah, it was a good night out. It was a great night out. Uh, rude or Saturday. Um, we tried the diamond. I think England did the diamond in one game, so we thought the diamond would work. So it went into this great diamond. I think it was Colin Campbell. That's been you in the diamond as well. Dan Burns. Dan Burns, Dan Cooper, me. And uh, we were down 3 0 after 10 minutes where we went up. 4 4 2. 4 4 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the early days, it was 25 games, 25 or 26 games before we got our first victory. So, Jesus, was that long? Yeah, it was that long. Third season. Now, when you, when you keep losing, You've got to find some positives in the, in the last now. We, we learned how to lose, we learned how to lose gracefully, and we, we, were, we were good at it. We were really, we were really good at it. So, in we the beer. We always won the beer hoy. We always won the beer hoy. And if you're <laughs> sitting in the beer hoy after, and you've got to celebrate something that you have won at, we suddenly realised we were the most handsome team. And so we celebrated the most handsome team by becoming um, the handsome bastards. So the cheers at the end of the game would normally be, well, we don't know much about the game to cheers, but occasionally a goal. So the cheers would come to Handsome Bastards. That's where Handsome Bastards originated from. If we'd won from the beginning, we'd have probably just been... Bastards. Handsome Bastards! Yeah. yeah, so the day we beat Capitals, oh, that was it. We beat Capitals, that was the first win, so that bodes well for tomorrow. I don't know how that works, but it must bode well somehow. We beat them 2 1. Cracking game. I think the last 10 minutes they had about 82 corners. Now, any Capitals team has always been pitted full of people six foot six and built like a chieftain tank, and normally from Iceland or Norway. Um, so we buttoned down the hatches. And we managed to survive this late onslaught. We got a 2-1 win, which after the game didn't make much difference. We went to the beer hoist, celebrated, we were handsome bastards, and we, we had three points. Um, we sort of probably created some expectations after that then. Eh? We actually thought it might happen again. I think it didn't happen again that season, I don't think. I think it was 1-3-6 that season, maybe. Won three games. No, we won one, we drew one three. One. Right. <laughs> we only lost six. <laughs> Go on, mate! 
For 10 years now, these boys have been spending their Saturday on the pitch. The practice has paid off now as the team has athletes representing 10 different countries and a range of amateur to semi-professional players. But the story wasn't always as sweet. The, our fortunes have improved a bit the first few years we were uh, without a single result. Um, but more recently we had a couple of uh, title challenges. Uh, this season we're challenging for the top of the Tay. Top of the Tay, meaning foreigner or western team, is a healthy goal for the boys. But winning or losing isn't what they're all about. This team comes together for more significant reasons. The Minsk Football Club exists for diverse reasons. Diverse, much like its members. These guys are a fantastic bunch of guys. We've got people from all over the world, every continent in the world, many different countries, and they're great sports, all good people. And we have a good camaraderie, not just about football, but social life too. We all go out drinking together. After every match, we go for a beer hoy. Actually, it's a great feeling to play on this team. The Minsk team isn't just a football club. They like a small social club. Football is just a means to turn it into a club, to bring everyone together like in a family. Another day, another go on the pitch. Win or lose, the Minsk football club always has something to celebrate. Same, same situation, last game of the season, us Capitals. The difference this year is, like last year, they had nothing to lose. Mm. Um, they could just stop us. Their motivation was to stop us winning the league. This time, it's on the line for them as well. So it'll be different for them too. Man, I just think we should, I just want to beat them so fucking bad, yeah? I really do. I don't care what the score is, as long as I walk away here, like having won it, then I'm happy, man. So yeah, we've set this up for a winner takes all kind of situation because they've been hot in our heels. The only time they've lost was against us and uh, they drew at Roots as well. So we're in a very similar situation. If they can get the if they can catch up with us then like if they can if they can get the win, they've got the goals over us. But uh, if we can if we can hold them out, I think we've got it. I'm pretty sure we've got it. Our defence has been pretty mean all year, so mm -hmm. Looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, definitely confident that we're going to go and take it. I mean, the hardest thing is that the whole the whole year is on this one game. Yeah. That's like all the games, all the trainings that we've had, all the beer hoys, all the fucking singing yeah. as well, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of it is on this one there's game. There's a massive party at stake here, and there's these lads yeah. that want to ruin our party. That's basically the problem. So we got to go out and stamp our authority on the game. And, and, it's, and it's not just, just like, the lads here. It's not just the players or, or like, you know, the, the starting team and the lads on the bench. Yeah. As other people come down, it will mean as much to them as well. It's going yeah. to hurt them as much too. Yeah, there's a massive what, community. Know? Massive community. This is the third time that we have the chance to win it on the last day of the season, but this is the best situation we've, we've been in of the three. Love this song. As soon as someone has had a kick, absolute beeline for the end line. So I run it running to the side here, to the corner of the box, corner of the six yard box. Yeah, I know, yeah, but just in case. I know, yeah, I know, but you don't all run the same place. Someone runs to the corner, someone's running to where Dave is, where I want to put it, but it's not going to go there always. I end with an end there, but I'm just saying, make, Joe, make two runs. Joe, you stand where you want. Make one, you make the other, just in case. Hold on, Sean. Drop it here. That's exactly where I want to drop it, but so, just in case. Just in case, if it goes long. Yes, yeah. if there's a knock on. Yeah, exactly, you can put it back, like Kenzie the last time. Okay? Keep up! Well done, Cove! Well done, Cove! Well done, Cove! Well done, Cove. Well done, Cove. Well done, Cove.
obviously we work hard for something there's a little bit of nerves on the last day when you're about to achieve that thing that you've been trying to do for the whole year but um, I feel confident and I feel like we're going into a party you know we have put ourselves in the position where we're going to get to play a game in front of all of our mates for the league it's what you want as a footballer you, you wait for these day, days you wait for that cup final and you're only excited about it when it comes so boy I'm just excited to put myself out there and bang something in that goal over there as long as we're cheering that way yeah and yeah, we, 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 haven't, we haven't lost all season I don't see us losing on Saturday we've, we've scored more than, we've scored two or more goals every game Minsk always score and, and we, we do it for our family look at all these people around us who are fucking it feels good it feels good it's what we wanted so boy I take a broken nose broken arm out stop a goal whatever this man's led us there. The Green Army, boys. We're going to fucking smash it. There is a lot of history. I started playing in 2013, and I can't remember if we were playing against Capitals then, but we did lose the last game of the league on the cup final. And then last season, uh, same happened. So, but those two games were both against Capitals and that was like my first full season at Minsk so that was heartbreaking and not something that's going to happen again so but that's a good thing you know you go through it once and then you're like you know what it feels like you know what's going to you know the, you've been through the motions so you're better at dealing with it and like the nervous feeling you get in your in your chest is like for me when you feel it that you have to channel it to excitement and you can just like breathe real hard and then dissipate it into your body and use the energy to fucking make mincemeat out of them fuckers. So. <laughs> yeah, that's about all I've got to say about mince capitals. <laughs> that was good lads, well trained. One down, that one. I wanted to do a bit of stretching, yeah. That was a long session. Now. Lads, if you're old, which you all are, do a bit of stretching. That was a long session. I feel like we're uh, we're feeling close. Um, it's been three tough years together. We're closer than ever. I think win, lose, or draw. Uh, I hope we stay good friends. And uh, yeah, we'll always have a good behind after. Well, Joy, what are your thoughts? I don't care for friends after this. Um, Joy, we, we rehearsed this. My my life is only planned up till Saturday afternoon. Um, after that, I don't care. What about that stuff you're telling me earlier on that allows more to life than football? No, no, I never said that. That's a, that's a misquote. Um, no, my life doesn't matter after Sunday. I don't care about if my legs are working. Um, okay, I do care if my friends exist. They should continue to exist. They need to live on to celebrate the victory we will have had. Um, but this this body is not needed. I don't have any plans for it beyond. On Saturday, it's, it's there you go, folks. Means I'm close to as ever. Every day, if I have to have my leg, <laughs> what a fucking bunch of heroes you already are. Now, you've got to be confident. We're unbeaten, we've scored at least two goals in every single game we've played this year, and that record stretches back for ages. We are a fucking incredible club, it scores incredible goals. And I'm fucking proud to be doing it again with you people. I'm excited. I want to see a party atmosphere this fucking week. Uh, yeah, we'll see you right. again on Tuesday. I want to see you confident and sharp and ready. Hatsa Basta! Hatsa Basta! Cheers! Cheers! We have been in the final many times, so I don't think we've won, we won a cup, have we? We won a cup. We've been in the cup final twice, once uh, we went brothers, where we lost 2-1. Uh, and lots of lots of five-side tournaments, we've got to finals, and I don't think we have. Runners up in the league, we must be... Five? Twice under Dave, once last season, two champions, I'm... I think there was another one in there. Yeah. Yeah. It used to sort of be the real, when, when Drinker Capitals used to run the league, basically whoever won the league would get kicked out. Quite a clever system. Uh, FPT, Alaska. Is that what happened to TMG last season? No, I don't. Oh, they pulled out, did they? They're having a sabbatical. Well, that's why we organised it for so long, because we never won it. Drink her. Oh, I don't know.
Yeah, he's like 15 years old. You, you even you? managed to run the league from, uh, from, afar, yeah. from Peru. <laughs> He'd be on a motorboat trip in Peru. So would it be uh, first thing in the morning an email coming in from, from Hanoi later Saturday night about some fracas on the pitch, which we would discuss over a pretty shitty piece of bread or something, eh? And a crap coffee. Discussing Johnny Wood. Uh, okay, oh, Joe, not again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, in our process of running the league, so through running the league, Johnny took up the position of uh, El Presidente, which is a life position. Yeah, life position. Uh, El Presidente of the league and El Presidente of, um, of uh, Minsk Football Club. So, unless someone does a coup, which has happened before, hasn't it? Has there been a coup? <laughs> <laughs> you can't not for a present. We're going to win tomorrow. We're going to win the game. Uh, we'll win the game. And as a result... Jeez, I thought a ball was coming in my head. Uh, as a result, we'll win the league. But uh, if we go out tomorrow just to win the game, we'll win. There's a... Uh, it is, uh, as, as an ex-gaffer coined, a, a great bunch of lads, did you not say, John? I would say they're a great bunch of lads. <laughs> uh, there's a good vibe, there's, a, there's, some, uh, there's some cracking footballers on the pitch at the moment. It's actually really lucky we retired so that we didn't have to get dropped by people who are much better than us. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's, it's a high standard in the, in the league now. Some of the football is, is really, really impressive. Some of the goals have been outstanding um, with the team all the way through through the spine of the team tomorrow there's there's real talent um, unfortunately I hear there's quite a bit of talent in the other team as well huh? um, let's go down and have a word with the ref <laughs> remind him of our fair play awards <laughs> but, uh, I think um, again at the end of the day if we're not champions tomorrow we will be next year. We will be next year, yeah. Or the year after. Are we fair play award winners this season? And has anyone checked up on that? When we win today, when we win, when today. We win not, today, not if, mate. When, when we win today, they won't, do, they won't be singing our pitch is too big no more. I'll tell you that. We're singing yeah, yeah. our pitch is too small. <laughs> Joey's dick's definitely too big. Joey's dick's definitely too big, and he's gonna fuck him. <laughs> All right, Joey. Then. <laughs> not you, mate. It's just these. We don't want to die. They're not ready to join us. Joey goes round the outside. Joey. Joey's the only one in there. Joey this. Joey that. I'll warm up my my appetizer dick, and then and then Joey can jump in. <laughs> that main course. Danny's, Danny's a pair of teeth. Little bruschetta. Little bruschetta. <laughs> <stick. laughs> bum bum. Just moist it up a little bit. Moist it up. So he rubs And Joey comes in with a big fucking sledgehammer. Wah! And a I'll tell you that. It wasn't supposed to be that hot today, was it? I checked the podcast. Should be cool today. Next weekend, they're coming in earlier. They're coming now. Yeah. Tom, uh, Sneedy just said. Yeah. Tommy Keeney. Oh, look at that. It's a football club, if you like, but it's a club of, it's a, it's a, it's a way of life. Um, and people are learning that. It's good to see some of the some of the lads in the club now also getting on motorbikes and exploring, because that's what the, the Mint Club once was about. Yeah, that's all it was about at the beginning. So for them to start now building that kind of lifestyle into, the, into their experience of Vietnam, that's, that's really nice to see as well. So we'll be on fire tomorrow. I think there's going to be, I think it'll be a decent crowd down tomorrow. We've got all of our support. Uh, I can love to play. Yeah.
Back three is going to be Dave and Steve and Jack. Starting on the right, Luke Kenny. Starting on the left, Joey. Sean and Clancy and Mike Clowry in the middle and myself and Danny up top. Well, now, nice. one thing you've got to know about the famous fucking Mince Pub, right? Wherever you go across town, you talk to someone who plays football and the conversation always goes like this. Ah, yeah, I play football, but not for one of the big teams. And like, what, do you play for Mince Pub? Oh, fuck, wow, man, I wish I could play for a team like that. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking point is, yeah, everywhere you go across the city, you know people that know the fucking Mints. If you've even kicked a fucking ball once in Hanoi, you know who the fuck we are. Because we are the fucking kings of Hanoi. The top of the top, top of the league, fucking best team ever. Are you fucking ready to do it? Strength and calmness, my man. You've got me and you've got fucking no fucking surrender. Back in yesterday. Don't get beat today. Don't get beat, that's it. Ah! Ah! 
but the uh, English guy uh, tags doesn't get that dirty. <laughs> Because I thought Max is that's a very old. tomorrow, which I'm sure we will, then one person deserves the trophy more than anyone else, Dan Burns. He's played every single game, I think, since 20 years ago, since we started. He's been there from the beginning. I heard this might be his last season. He's not going to go, want to go out with anything other than that trophy. For you, Dan Burns. Dan Burns. I remember the first time I saw Dan Burns on the pitch, which may have been actually the first time I ever saw Dan Burns. Uh, Tuesday night. Tuesday? Tuesday night, 8 o'clock we played, 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock, Van Fook. 7 o'clock, Van Fook. So I remember him turning up and yeah, he could play football. He always could play football. He was always been a handy footballer. Uh, I mean, this is now what? 20 years ago, man? No? 20 years. 20 years, he's still playing. 18. Uh, he's been our best footballer for probably 15 of those 20 years, isn't he? It? Uh, and he's uh, 50 years old and he's still doing it occasionally got, when we're up. <laughs> got a great goal scoring record for everyone in the trouble. It would be getting it at the back post and Burns there would be in with a header. Uh, we're not all headers, but he's, got, he's, got, he's great in the air. Uh, he'll, he'll chase down anyone, he's, he's, he's good with his feet. Uh, and uh, I don't think you can have a more popular player in the, in the club. Um, great guy to play with, great guy to, to drink with. Mm. Uh, legend. Yeah, Prince Legend. We're banging this, we just need one more goal. Same as before, man, we just need to get two goals. Get two goals in the fucking league. No problem. We'll probably get it in the first fucking ten. Guys, like, we're being, we're being absolutely fine. So you just keep it on the floor, keep working. He's not fucking being fat. Keep that work rate high. They're fucking scared, man. That next goal's coming. Yeah. And we're the mix. We always score basic. again. We always score, man. They're fucking shitting it because they know it's coming, man. Their heads drop massively. Yeah. 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 They're not going to fucking run out of gas. Get into them, lads. We haven't got yeah, into them. Exactly. Get into it, And the same on out, the man. ball. Get into it. Own that fucking ball. Yeah. Don't be afraid of it. Come on, the ball. Hit it low and hard. Just throw some fruit. They're getting close. I'm able to turn them. Exactly. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We want it like 45 minutes during this fucking league. Fucking everything. Come on, fight in your boys. Come on, fight in your boys. Come on, boys. You're my enemy today. If I had none, I would have fought. Sorry, Oh, okay, man. Oh. 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 Oh
Yeah. game what an amazing result I mean it was a roller coaster and, uh, 17 years involved in the club this is the pinnacle of our achievement I am absolutely over the moon never thought it would happen and it has and just fucking brilliant absolutely brilliant look at these boys having so much fun in there and they deserve every minute of it Oh, and it would have 
have done this shit, no way. Next is for anyone who's ever come down to support us and watch the game. We fucking do it for you, man. Thank you! this club, they created this club, they fucking ran the league for years, they drive mince bikes, they sat over there, fucking Johnny Simmons, Colin, Dan Dockery, and fucking...
Club. It, I mean, it's not just a football club, it's a club. It's a, it's a group of friends, it's comrades. So it's, it's always been about that. Uh, I mean, it was never about winning, as, as you've heard. <laughs> Winning's a great bonus. It's nice, huh? But uh, no, so if you, if, you, if you win, you win together. If you lose, you lose together. And that's uh, what the philosophy's been about. And still is, I think. It's, hmm. it's nice to see all players who are their friends as well as teammates, aren't they? It's, it's a family. It's, it's been like that more often than not. Great bunch of lads. <laughs> yeah, it's good trust. <laughs> Cheers.
Get in here! 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 Get in here!